Hey, this is Justin from the Caddis Fly Shop. I'm going to be tying a little uh, sculpin today. Um, it's basically just like a Kelly Gallup sex dungeon, but uh, kind of tuned down, more conducive to our waters out here. Um, yeah, let's tie it. Okay, so to start out, I take my rabbit strip, I kind of taper it off like that, cut it at an angle, and then put my hook in there, that point up, and then kind of split it right down the middle. Start your thread. Start working it back. Again, this is 150 denier GSP. Um, doing some deer hair work, so you need some pretty strong thread. Okay, kind of slide that rabbit strip down and tie it in as close as you can really get it. And then wrap forward to tie in the eyes. You're gonna want to leave, you know, a little bit of space there because you're gonna be doing a um, spinning some deer hair up in front of the eyes, and you don't want it to spin off of the hook. All right, so just tying those in. Some figure eight wraps, and this fly rides hook point up, so. Invert those eyes, give them a couple more wraps just to secure them, and then work back to right where you ended the rabbit strip, give it some glue, and tie in my chenille and my wire at the same time. back and then going forward I do my schlopping. It's just black schlopping. It doesn't have to be super pretty because all that chenille will kind of cover this stuff up. Okay and start wrapping your chenille. Okay. Wrap it right up to the eyes. And then take your slapping, palm it forward, same way you wrapped your same way you wrapped your chenille, and we'll counter wrap it with the wire. it. Tie it off. And then, oh, a little trick. Pencil eraser. So you don't poke yourself. All right, and then we're counter wrapping. This is just brassy wire. You can use whatever whatever size you want, just to trap in that schlapping. because these things will get chewed up. Just adds a little bit more durability. Tie off that wire. And then I take some olive marabou. <clears throat> Tie it in two spots here. So one on top. Kind of give it a couple wraps. And then can really reef on it with this GSP. And then flip it over. Tie it in, you know, as even as possible. The other side. Kind of spread them out so they're, so it looks like it's one piece. All right. A couple more wraps. 
wraps and then trim this stuff off. And now we'll do this deer hair head. So for your first spin, take off a clump. And you're going to want to stack this part. Take your little under fur brush and just kind of get all that under fur out. This stuff has a lot of it. So. Even it out a little bit. Get all of it out so we can get a nice spin. It's got quite a bit. All right. And we'll pop it in the stacker. Give it a couple stacks. And you can just kind of measure it out. You know, I like that marabou just a little bit longer than the deer. Two soft loops. Gotta kind of spread it out with this GSP, it doesn't really want to spin. And then tight down on it. And just kind of cross your thread through that hair, bring it forward. And then we'll do our second second spin. This one you don't have to stack because it's all going to get trimmed up anyways. And then right in front of the right in front of the eye, there are two more soft loops. Spread it around and then spin it all down. Well, I'm happy to respect the fly fishing despite that thing. Um. And then I do my whip finish in the hair, so you can really kind of reef on it. Yeah, that's for sure. That is a quick completed And then tighten it down, it'll kind of click into place. You'll know what I mean once you do it. One more, and then kind of put some glue on it. Just so everything's kind of sitting in there. Pretty set. Drop some glue down in there. And then cinch it all down again. And all you have to do is trim it. The chopper.